that was a memory that is gonna be in my mind forever and ever and ever. I think going into coaching was kind of a natural progression just because I love playing. I mean, basketball was my game, I loved it. I care more about who they are as a person, right? So when they leave Tulane, I want them to leave with a degree from one of the top institutions in the country, but also a better understanding of themselves. Hi, I'm Kenzie Mitchell. Welcome back to Wavecrest, your ultimate destination for a tidal wave of sports updates, insights, and all things Tulane Athletics. We are diving headfirst into the heart of the action. From the thrilling victories that send shockwaves through the world of athletics, to the stories behind the scenes that shape the games we love, we've got it all covered. Whether you are a coach, athlete, or a diehard fan of Tulane Green Wave, Wavecrest is here to delve beneath the surface to highlight the stories and personal journeys in a new light. Just like the crest of the wave, we will be discussing the highest, most captivating surface points of Tulane Green Wave. Get ready to immerse yourself into the world of Tulane athletics like never before. There has recently been a lot of exciting news within Tulane athletics. Tulane University President Michael Fitz announced the hiring of David Harris as the Green Wave's new Director of Athletics and the Ben Weiner Director of Athletics Chair. Harris is currently the Director of Athletics at the University of Northern Iowa. Harris was named Athletics Director of the Year by the National Association of Collegiate Director of Athletics in 2021. Ben Weiner Director of Athletics Chair David Harris announced John Summerall has been named the 42nd head coach of Tulane's football program. Summerall arrived back to New Orleans this week with his family. The Huntsville, Alabama native was one of the most successful head coaches in the country the last two seasons before arriving to New Orleans. He guided Troy University to a 23-4 record, two Sun Belt Conference championships, and a pair of double-digit winning streaks. He was named Sun Belt Conference Coach of the Year and was twice named a finalist for the Eddie Robinson Conference Coach of the Year honor. We give a warm welcome back to Summerall as he previously served as the co-defensive coordinator for three years from 2012 to 2014 for the Green Wave. Up next is an exclusive feature on one remarkable Tulane student athlete who helped her team achieve something extraordinary. The Tulane women's cross country team claimed its first American Athletic Conference cross country championship title. The Green Wave men's team posted its best finish since 2016. We had the privilege to sit down with Dana Diaz, an all AAC honoree, who shared her feelings about this win. My name is Dana Diaz, I'm in the cross country team and I'm a junior. That was amazing, that was a memory that is gonna be in my mind forever and ever and ever. Honestly, I didn't understand how important was having a team because it is a very individual sport and in my last school I didn't have that appreci appreciation for your teammates and now that I'm here and I can share with people that I respect and admire as a person and as an athlete, makes completely difference because you know you are working for them and you are working for something bigger than yourself. We are like a family actually. So I think that's really important in building a championship team. And I know it's just running, but um, when you are racing and you are thinking about pushing harder because you know your teammates are doing the same for you, is, is different, just is different. During my summer training, I was just thinking about stuff like that to motivate myself because it's not easy just running in the heat during the summer and so many hours, so many miles, so, so much time that some people will hail, hate to do just to be successful like at this. And that was a, just like motivation, but that was like not real, just like in my mind trying to motivate myself to get my training done. And then when it actually happens, it's just crazy. You realize that all the work, all the sacrifices and all the things you did to, be, to win the conference um, happens. It's just unbelievable. He has been the best um, coach. He's really team-oriented. He really understands. He is really professional. He inspires like all of us. He's always so positive and we feel really safe and in general motivated and happy to, to work hard and to be here. We have indoors and we have outdoors after this cross-country season. Hopefully we can get a, another trophy in indoors. Congratulations to Dana, her team, and the AAC Women's Cross Country Staff of the Year 
head coach Adrian Myers and assistant coach David Silversmith. Next up, we have a huge milestone to celebrate. Tulane women's basketball head coach Lisa Stockton enters her 30th year of coaching. I think going into coaching was kind of a natural progression just because I love playing. I mean, basketball was my game. I loved it. And I was, luckily, I was a part of, of some of the generations that benefited from Title IX. I, mean, I was able to go to college on a scholarship and um, I was able to, to go for four years and, and play basketball at a high level in the ACC. And so I, I think the opportunities that were created for me um, from the people before me about having opportunities in college because 10 years before I came along there was no opportunities to coach in college so I definitely believe that that seeing that and being able to have that pathway to, to be able to coach in college you know I, I knew that was was what I wanted and that was gonna be my goal I've been very fortunate to have people in my life that inspired me and it kind of showed me that path and I, I the mentor program really came from Pat Summit. Um, she had a mentor program. I talked to one of her players that started the program, and then we started here. And I, I think the great thing about that is there's so many women in this community that I knew that inspired me, even as a coach, that I felt like with our players, they needed to know. I have a lot of proud moments. I, I think, you know, we, we certainly had a lot of great teams and a lot of great players, you know, having players. You know, I had a player that was drafted number three in the WNBA. That was a great moment. We've had all that. I, I definitely think probably my, my proudest achievement is that we've graduated every player that's ever played for four years here. I think that's going to be true through year 30. Uh, it looks like it'll be true, but I, I definitely believe that when you, you can come here and reach success, but also get a degree from this university, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. We say a big thank you to Coach Stockton for your dedication to Tulane Athletics and congratulations on all of your achievements. Last, but certainly not least, we shine a spotlight on the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, better known as SAC, which is the heart of the student athlete representation. We sat down with Dr. Jada Buckner, who plays a huge role in SAC and is also our assistant AD for student athlete enhancement. Dr. Jada Buckner truly is one of the biggest reasons for the student athlete success at one of the top institutions in the country. So I'm Dr. Jada Buckner, I'm the Assistant AD for Student Athlete Enhancement here at Tulane. Yeah, so that means that I serve our student athletes personal and professional development, so all 414 of them. So I tell our student athletes all the time, I care about how well they do within athletics. Obviously their coaches can handle that. I care about how they do academically. I want them to be successful there too, but their professors got that. I care more about who they are as a person, right? So when they leave Tulane, I want them to leave with a degree from one of the top institutions in the country, but also a better understanding sending of themselves. Um, I'm a former student athlete and Teal who works with me also a former student athlete so we understand that their time is very limited so we try to bring community service to them sometimes. Now that doesn't mean we don't go out into the community. Just last week we went to um, serve some of our homeless community and um, just serve right alongside our NOLA uh, community which is really special for us. We really put that first. We know that New Orleans is so resilient and they back us so hard so we try really hard to make sure that we're pouring into them the same same way that they pour into not only our student athletes but our staff and our coaches as well. I think the study abroad trip was a really, really special one. I guarantee that there's no other institution in the country that has taken 66 student athletes abroad and brought them all back successfully. Um, but we had a great time and I think they got to uh, make connections across sports that they don't usually get to because they spend so much time with their own sport as well as immersed in another culture which is obviously really special and something that um, them getting to do outside of their sport. When students go out into a working world we want to have given them the opportunity to lead already, which innately as a student athlete, you get some of those career competencies such as critical thinking, teamwork, leadership, and SAC is just another branch of that, right? Like they get to be a voice for the whole student body um, that serves as that go-between for leadership. Um, and the way that they can join is just come and let us know that they are wanting to interact and we try to give them positions to lead and um, to let their voice be heard. Thank you so much to Dr. Jada Buckner for your impact on our Tulane student athletes. As the wave of excitement on Wavecrest comes to a close, thank you for joining us on this journey through the heart of Tulane athletics. We hope you've enjoyed the thrilling victories, insightful stories, and in-depth features. We will be back with more incredible and inspiring stories that make this athletic department so special. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, I'm Kenzie Mitchell. Happy holidays.